I want to thank you for joining us. I'm Jeff Cavins. Coming up on February 27th, we have a men's conference in the Archdiocese. It's going to be very exciting. We're hoping to inspire men and also to mobilize men and equip men to be the leaders in their families, to be providers and protectors in their families. And joining us in the newsletter today is Bishop Andrew Cousins. Nice to have you with us. Great to be with you here today, Jeff. You know, not too long ago, Bishop, in Philadelphia, Pope Francis was there and he was talking to men in the role of men in the family to become uh, leaders. And that was really a call to the whole nation. Can you elaborate on that? Well, Pope Francis has been putting a focus on the family since his beginning of his pontificate, calling the Synod on the family. And you can tell for him, he really understands how the family is the central building block of society. And he actually said it beautifully in Philadelphia. He said, love enters the world through the family. That's what we see in the Holy Family. And that's what we see in our families today. And so really, he's highlighted the unique role that the father has in the family. Because the father plays a very unique role in that family. He's the spiritual father of the family. And he's supposed to play, be an example, especially an example in faith and in love to his wife and to his children. And we know that when fathers play that role, the whole family is stronger. And that's what Pope Francis really was emphasizing, is how important is each role in the family for its uniqueness. And we want to focus on that truth that fathers have this unique role. Uh, Bishop Olmsted in Phoenix, who is a, a good friend of yours, a close friend, has written an apostolic exhortation into the breach. And while that apostolic exhortation is for the men of Phoenix, Arizona, it's becoming very clear that men around the country are reading it, bishops and pastors are reading it. And in there he talks about men becoming uh, really providers, protectors of their families, and, and leaders. Can you comment on those, those three briefly, uh, the need in men's lives to, to walk in that? Yeah, I, I really hope that everybody has the chance to read uh, Bishop Olmsted's uh, exhortation on uh, Into the Breach because it really highlights what it is that we as men are called to do in strengthening families and therefore strengthening societies. He focuses a lot, as you said, on the importance of learning to build virtue in our life and how we need other men to help us grow in our faith and in our virtue so that we can take up that role in our family of provider, of protector, of the one who is the example in the faith. Um, but his point is, given where our culture is and given where our world is today, this is not an easy task. But we need men who will step up to the plate, who will, he uses the phrase, you know, into the breach, which is that fighting phrase, who will stand in the gap and be that protector for their family so that our children can grow up knowing the love of Jesus and knowing then how to really be contributors to making our world a better place for Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. On February 27th, as mentioned earlier, the men of the Archdiocese are going to be coming together. It's a Saturday at St. Thomas. And in, 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 in a real way, this is, this is your conference. This has always been the Bishop's Conference, uh, where you're calling your men together. What, what are you hoping for that day as we call men together and, and, and challenge them to be uh, Catholic watchmen, a, a phrase that comes from Ezekiel 22, men are protectors of, of the family, protectors of the church? I really hope that first all men of the Archdiocese will come because I think the day is going to be inspiring, it's going to be encouraging, and it's going to be a time for us to gather together as men with our priests and to commit ourselves to being who the Lord's calling us to be in the society, which is that idea of the watchman the one who, who's ready to stand and look on the heights and be able to see where we need to go and what we need to do. And we've got great speakers that day. I'll be there. I'm really hoping that all the men of the Archdiocese will come because it'll be a great opportunity for us to join together and begin really together as men to re-strengthen our society and our Archdiocese. Well, we're, we're, uh, we're so happy that you're going to be there, and I think it's going to be a meaningful day, and, and I think it's going to be a pivotal day in our archdiocese, particularly for the men. I've been talking with, Arch, or talking with Bishop Cousins about the, the big conference coming up on February 27th, and I want to just encourage you to get the word out in your parish. We're hoping that we can gather men around their pastors, and that we want to uh, communicate to men, where are we at today in our culture? What's your responsibility as men? And what's the plan going forward in the Archdiocese as far as evangelizing men? And do we have a plan? Yes, we do. We hope to mobilize men so that men can grow in their faith and truly be those protectors and those providers and the leaders in their homes. So uh, get the word out, pray for us, and we look forward to seeing you at St. Thomas Saturday, February 27th.
Thank you. Appreciate it.